Probably the first thing was, was my, my dad. He is a complete music fan. So through like singers and, and I start, you know, like I guess rock like David Bowie and like Queen and if he was like cleaning up, he'd have something on, he'd always be singing along. So that's where it started, I suppose. And I would be like, oh, that's awesome. And I'd listen. And then the next step when I was really young was my brother, Andrew. Just, he like got into like punk and, and stuff and we'd buy CDs and I was even younger. So I would just listen to what he had and then just start listening to my own stuff and always had my like earphones in and so it, yeah, it just started like that I think, yeah. Just like around the time when I was growing up, that was what, I guess like stuff like rap and stuff is bigger now, but back then that was what all young kids would like we like listen to like and especially my brother I don't know how he I think he had friends at school they have like mohawks and stuff and they would like just like like alternative music and um, stuff like Tony Hawk's games and stuff like that that was what was big you know so like that was all the biggest bands were on Tony Hawk's and yeah just like everything everything you watch and stuff that was like what was cool then and stuff so There's the reason for being the drums, I think, I just, you know, I just got fascinated from a young age. Andrew was playing guitar, but I just never really wanted to. I just thought, oh, I saw like, I don't know, I used to listen to like The Who and stuff, and I was like, just like rock drummers, and I was like, oh, I want to do that, I want to hit the drums. What well, sounds easy, but when I asked my parents, they would never say yes. So he was playing guitar, and I was like, please, and it was like four years go by, and they still said no. One day, Christmas morning, I wake up, do not expect it. My mum takes a sheet off, really oh, old, man. old, broken <laughs> drum kit. Um, Andrew's already tried it and broken the seat, the story he'd broken, <laughs> but yeah. So I was so happy and that's that's where it started. I think I was like, I was like 13 or something. So not like super young, but I was like really excited. I think it was around then. It started there and I used to like play on weekends and yeah, cool, that was where it started, cool, yeah. Yeah, I never had never had any drum lessons. I think I'd, I would have liked to, but just in the situation I was in, there was no one around. And when I got my kit, I just loved certain bands, and I put that in, and I just play along. So that's definitely a way to do it. I think there's, I, I'd like to be more skilled in. I could teach myself now, like rudiments and stuff. But no, I just kind of played along to music and then got in a band. The first drum kit I got did ha didn't have any kind of brand. It was just really terrible, but it was fun to like hit and stuff. Um, I remember the first proper drum kit I tried to save up, uh, and my parents helped me to, to buy a proper music store. It was a PDP, which is the DW like smaller brand. I went in and I was I was so shy and I was so shy and scared, and I asked for help, and they were like, "Have a sit down and play," and I was like, "Can you play it for me?" I was too like scared to play in front of people. You know, a year, a year goes by and I, uh, eventually we ended up touring with it and I shouldn't, it was so, everything was so small and I just said, yes, I'll take it. But it, it sounded good, but it was just a bit like tiny and stuff. But um, that was great. That was a real good first step. I think I had like the Sabian like pro pack of cymbals. You buy like a box of cymbals and, and the first proper purchase I made, I think even before the drum kit was so unnecessary, was a DW5000 double kick. Why is that? You think you buy a good snare or good cymbals, but no, I wanted that double kick pedal. I haven't used it in years. Um, yeah, I, I just, yeah. It was fun when I was younger to like try and do the metal drums and stuff. My first band was uh, this band called In This For Fun, which was Pretty much all of the same guys as Basement. I have to say, Duncan wasn't in it. He'd like me to say that because he just would like to say that. Um, but it it totally changed music, and we went, we don't want to do that anymore. So we like kind of said, let's start a new band, and then Basement formed from that. Yeah, definitely really fun. We had like hometown shows, and that was what we really liked back then. And you know, people would like travel down to our little town, and that was really fun. The drum kit, I've still got the same 
drum kit I bought two years ago now, which I love it and I probably won't change. The CNC is awesome. I got it, it was my first like custom made drum kit. It was really cool, yeah. Yeah, I got my kit made with them and they, they're really great every time we tour. Anywhere else, they, they can always help me out, like in America, they'll just lend me a, a kit, so that's really helpful. Yeah, I, I work with um, Sabian Cymbals, they're awesome, they've been the coolest. Ever since they, we started like speaking, they've been so helpful, they're awesome. I think I've still got the same kind of, I've got um, the, it's the hand hammer, the HH, they did like redid them, um, I guess what, yeah, and they're awesome. The one new thing I got, I changed Ride Cymbal, to, um, I, got, I went bigger, I got a 22 inch uh, Legacy ride and that was awesome, that was a real good change. I think I, I, I broke it, my old one, and I was like, let's try something new and it was really cool. So I think that's gonna be, I'm gonna stay there now. And I've had the same snare drum since I was the, the first snare I ever bought. Um, I must have been like 15 or 16, and I just just love it. It's a, just like a, a Pearl Masters. I don't think it's anything crazy. If I, I looked it up recently to see if I could get like another one as a spare, which is maybe ridiculous, but um, it was like a lot cheaper than other snares, and I just love it. It's, it's like maple wood, and just I just I don't really go crazy for like tuning and stuff, but it just seems to like sound good. I don't have to like I put a new head on do a bit and then it just sounds cool. So I think that's why I just stick with it. It's always trustworthy. Yeah. So I started years back with the DW5000 double kick um, and then I just took one half off and I just used that. So I had the 5000 for for ages. I've still got it and sometimes on certain tours I still use the 5000 but then I tried the 9000 DW and that was it's just so extra like sturdy um, and I love that. That's really cool. So I think I'm just happy with that and I'll just go with that. The drumsticks I use are a Veta 5B, um, which, is, which is awesome. You know, sticks are crazy, so and you get through them, so it's really good to have them. I use them since when I ever I ever first tried 5B. I talked to Veta, and I, they said, "What do you want?" And I just stuck with that. And I've tried other other stuff, but for me, they're just perfect. Which is so good to finally. I always used to go, well, "Which ones do I want?" You're, you know, if I'm going to get a lot, where do I go? But I just now know, which is awesome, so I can just get a whole brick and just feel, always feels good, so like that's where I'll stay, I think. I uh, just use Remo, and I think I just often go for the Toms. I tried Pinstripe, I think they're, they're cool, and I, I, I always prefer Clear, I just, I don't know, I'll, I'll use any, like I'll use Coated or whatever, but the Clear ones just kind of feel good to me. The pinstripes are cool and I, I could still use the Remo um, pinstripes but I don't know, something cool. I just, they feel good to me, the clear emperors. I don't know, just everything like, seems like large, they're so clear and they, they just feel great, always sound good. I, can, I think I use like a bit of moon gel and they keep kind of dead and they sound awesome. And then for the um, snare, I just always get the Remo controlled sound X, um, which is cool. Never really gone like gone through it or anything. Can like last for ages, and that always sounds good and feels good. But yeah, so Sabian, Invader and um, CNC, yeah, awesome. I haven't, I haven't got any, uh, I haven't got a drum head one, so I should, I should sort that out because drum heads come and go, you know. So I should love those. Alright, you, you are using Remo, yes. Because you like it, right? Yeah, just... Hey, whoa. hey Remo. Yeah, hey Remo. <laughs> or anyone else. <laughs> but um, no, I use them. It's one of those things you, when you, you grow up um, and that's what you have and then you try them and you find what you love, so you stick with it. Um, so yeah, I haven't like ventured too far out, so we don't know. But um, yeah. no, I like, yeah, I really like what I use, so... I've listened, what have I been listening to recently? I listened to the new Paramore album, which is really groovy. I've been listening to that, um, that's cool. Totally different drum, drum wise to anything else they did, but it's got some groovy, groovy beats. Um, I listen to a lot of just like, like hardcore and punk, honestly, because uh, I, I think I will just focus on the drums a lot of the time without realizing it, and I just, the sort of drums I would like, like to listen to. Uh, Angel Dust, uh, it's just always fun and fast, and I just like, be like drumming along in my head.
when I'm not on stage or on tour, um, I'll definitely be cherishing like time at home because you know you can go away for like five weeks, whatever. Um, I recently moved to um, Brighton on the south coast of England, so I'm just loving the summer at the minute. And we like you can go to the beach easy and just so I just like I do like I'm from the countryside, so I'll, um, I love going to like the you know parks and open areas and just chilling out. Um, yeah, just not crazy stuff. Watch movies, draw. Like uh, there's always stuff to do for the there's always stuff to do for the band, like merch designs and stuff. So we always like always talking and sorting out stuff. Um, I studied art. I was really into like just art and drawing. I, even even earlier than, than like drumming and stuff. I was always really early always like laying down on the floor just drawing copying from like marvel comics and stuff like just trying to spend the days on one image copying it perfectly and and then yeah did that through school and then went to university uh kingston to do like illustration um did that for three years that was really cool that, that's when that was when we kind of took a break from the band uh, my reason was you know i was at uni so in the first year i kept like leaving for two weeks and they were like where are you going? <laughs> I was like, oh, I had to tell him. I was like, oh, we're going on tour, but I'm going to stop now. And they're like, all right, okay. And then uh, I think one of the tutors actually said, he was like, oh, that sounds quite good. You sure you want to stop? And I was like, yeah, we've stopped now. <laughs> I was like, we've, we've quit. And then we've come back. So, um, so yeah, just we did that. And then so that was really cool because now, you know, I get to do all that. Me and like Alex and we'll all talk. And it's fun to like do all the like merch designs and talk about how we want things to look. And then album art and stuff. It's always fun, yeah. Probably and hopefully that would I probably would have just carried on with art and tried to focus on that. I have no idea where it could have gone or if it could have gone anywhere, but um, would probably trying to be focusing on art because that's another fun, creative thing that I enjoy like like music. So I did I did used to. Now it's kind of, now I don't really I should I'm always like you should post more and do stuff, but no I don't really post too much. So it's, all there is really is just whenever there's goofy flyers and stuff. We do like tours, shows, merch. I get to like have fun with that. So it'll often be there. Drums represent to me total fun and it really is a different experience when you can especially like tour around the world and every night uh, just get up and play music with your friends and for me I don't know, I've just never played guitar but playing the drums is just the funnest thing you get to like rock out and hit stuff um, so it's definitely like a complete release and a fun thing and if it's a good show afterwards there's like no other feeling like it and it's the best